It's time once again to join our heroes on the mic as we dive down yet another hole of geeky goodness. That's right, it's time for the Mythwits, the show dedicated to all things geek pop culture, drenching absurdity, and Cody with sarcasm and some other stuff this week, I think. Every week we bring on an industry guest, but not this week, to talk about the ever-expanding Geekiverse and to play a game with us. And we are going to play a game. Uh, we're actually going to invite our, our chat room to play along. Uh, we do our damnedest to be funny, but there are no guarantees. I'm your host, Peter Bryan, and I am joined this week by my co-host, Mr. Kafis. Hey, I'm a bird. No, I'm a plane. No, I just got ADD. Okay. <laughs> hey, put your window, hand out the window. Finger fuck the bird. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, stupid old routine. Um, well, who has ADD now? Yeah, right. Anyway, uh, tonight, 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 we're going to, we're going to do something, um, that we, somebody told me that they liked when we did the 10 movies, they said that was really cool. Uh, and they would like us to do some more stuff like that. So I figured uh, Mike and I maybe do four of these, maybe like four of these types of shows a year where he and I just chat about some topic. Uh, and you know, we go through a list of things, uh, and talk about, you know, how these things, um, I don't know, either affected us or we're into or whatever. And, right. and and right about now, right about now, Mike, what are we talking about, Mike? Uh, I, I was told my homework that you gave me that I, I was given that I had to come up with uh, out of the MCU. And then, of course, you and I were uh, talking back and forth today and making sure that we both understood it was not only the MCU, but uh, the basically the Marvel video universe. So if you are in the uh netflix realm then that counts although i'm a little bit um behind on some of the um the what is that called what were those ones the agents of shield unfortunately i haven't caught up with those however that counts um and uh the sony universe as well as the what is that other one the fox universe <laughs> fox yeah. uh, marvel properties and of course the marvel cinematic universe so uh those are all of our our choices that we had to come up with our top three favorite uh, characters in Marvel because, hey, maybe they're heroes, but maybe they're not heroes. Yeah. Maybe, you know, depending upon, you know, maybe Thanos is a hero to somebody. Could be. Well, they don't have to be heroes. They're characters. So, so right. it, it's, characters. it's right. our right. three favorite, the three we like the least, three we and, like then, the least. and three we'd like to see. That's Enter right. the realm. Now, uh, Mike, we're also including properties that have been acquired that are yes. coming. So, sure. So, so we're including Fantastic Four because Marvel has the rights to those no, now. They are part of, of the course, family. Yes, we, we all knew you have a boner now, for them. So it's I fine. do not. It's I don't, do, I don't even like them. I just, I'm just saying <laughs> that by <laughs> our rules, if we're going to include the X-Men, which we are, so you can talk about Deadpool and wank it to Deadpool. Uh, <laughs> if you're going to include, Deadpool. if you're going to include them, you have to include the others. Just of course, yes. Saying. What? I hey, you get to have a hard on for who you want to have a hard on for. It's all good, man. It's all good. All right. So Jonathan, hey Jonathan, already uh, blessed that. He says uh, he says only four. You got to do more of these. All right. We'll, we'll try, Jonathan. We'll try. We got to keep them interesting though. They can't just be us. Blah blah blah. We got to have a really good topic, and I think this is going to be a fantastic one. Um, everybody's passionate. <laughs> fantastic four. I've had that four. <laughs> like. <laughs> God, Every you are so hard for them, aren't you? <laughs> totally <laughs> not. <laughs> totally not. Actually, <laughs> Jay Libby gives me shit because I'm always dogging the Fantastic Four. I really don't care for them a whole lot. Anyway. <clears throat> so, <laughs> Dr. Doom. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Doom. <laughs> Dr. Doom got sucked into the Fantastic Four by accident somehow. <laughs> He's like a universal villain. He's fought yeah, everybody. Uh -huh. Yeah, right, anyway. that's, who you, that's who you got a band for. Yeah, I do. I like Dr. Doom. I, do. I know you man. Hey, right. there's anything wrong with that. No. Dr. Doom is <laughs> he's the bomb. All right, <clears throat> so Mike, uh, I, I'm the host. Uh, normally, I go first on a lot of these things, but I, you did a lot of copious notes. You did a lot more homework on this than I did, I have <laughs> to admit. Okay. I have to admit. Um, I just, I've been super, 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 super busy. Uh, so I'm going to let you go first. All right. I'll let you go well, first. 
I, I don't know. Like, I, all right. It's fairly obvious who my number one is mm-hmm. because you've already called it out. <laughs> I mean, look, we, we, we know each other fairly well, mm-hmm. fairly well. So um, let me just go with it. Let, put it out there. Get it out of the way. Just, just the unzip. Way. Put it out. Just put it on the table. Deadpool. Yeah. I mean, I never before have I fallen so hard and so fast for a Marvel character than Deadpool uh, when the movie first came out. And uh, even going – so then after I watched the movie, I went back and I started even reading some of the comics. And I uh, am a fan of uh, um, someone on on, uh, – the YouTube. Uh, his name is Rob. He does Comics Explained. I love Rob. He he is like my uh, Marvel Sherpa to get me caught up. You know, in, in like half hour increments, I can, he goes through a, a whole series. Or you right. know, so I learned about um, when Deadpool steals the Infinity Gauntlet and all the mayhem that ensues. And uh, you know, just there's so and and then I found out that there's a free place online that you can actually get and read all of the Deadpool comics online for free. So I've been reading some of them. I just I can't the writing. He just is hysterical and for the the entire genre, the way it is supposed to be, the proper Marvel way, and how some some way and somehow that they were able to fit a character in like Deadpool, into this entire place. And the fact that he has the cognizance of knowing that he is so special and the only one that knows that he's in the universe and in that comic is being one of his superpowers is mm-hmm. so goddamn... Re- uh, re- what is that called? Re- Donkulous? Uh, ridiculous? Well, it's ridiculous, yeah, but it's... Uh, what is that? Inception, you know, like, yeah. so so Inception and fourth wall break and all, all that. It's just that I, I do... I. I I have a huge crush on Deadpool, the character. Okay. So, and, and you know um, what? You know, uh, um, who's it got? Ryan Reynolds is is dreamy yeah. too. There's nothing. I mean, I mean, he's, he's if the only I was in, look, if I was in prison, I mean, if I know. was in the ice, if I was in the ice box, yeah, you know, <laughs> had to keep hey, warm. I, yeah, I'd take him in. You know, yeah, yeah, what the heck? right? Yeah, sure. Why not? So, so listen, like, a, like an eggplant fucking an uglier yeah. eggplant. Uh, yes. Yeah. Avocado. Much right. Yeah. All right, whatever. Right. All right, go ahead. So anyway, you're saying <laughs> so. so uh, I say uh, at least for we could talk about some of the powers to make sure that we've got them all covered as far as Deadpool. Um, that uh, he's got the healing factor that is super fast. Uh, and believe it or not, I from what I did some reading today, the mood that he's in can have an effect on how fast he heals. And the wow. more the more calm and the more like just chill he is, the faster he'll heal. <laughs> evidently oh. um yeah uh and he also has i don't know if a lot of people know this but he does possess superhuman levels of stamina and strength and agility and reflexes well i know my understanding though i think it's the same reason why wolverine has superhuman strength or some of the same reason why superhuman strength superhuman endurance is the healing factor like as he burns up energy he just heals and, and you know like they can just go forever and ever and ever because they could never run themselves to death Right. Well, he does the stamina for sure, but um, he does even have some um, extra strength and well, the, the well, agility. That, that's, well, that's true too because he can lift things that would normally tear his muscles, and they yeah. just heal so fast that he can just he can just go there beyond go. what a human normal human could. So yeah. I, I believe that's why Wolverine is same thing, and and yeah. in fact, and Wolverine's probably a t- maybe a tiny bit stronger than him only because he's got you know there's metal bones to help yeah. you know whatever. Um, Oh, by the way, hey, it's yes. David Benavidi's birthday today, Mike. Oh, oh, that's right. Oh, happy birthday, David. Yes, happy birthday, happy David. We birthday. love you, buddy. We love you. All happy right. Happy birthday. Oh, God, no. To you. Oh, Jesus. That's all, all I right. get. Anyway, <laughs> good. Thank you. All right, so do you want to go to your <laughs> second one, or do you want to go to my first one? Of course we're going to go to your first one, man. We're volleying okay. this. All right, Mike, I'm going to let you guess because you, you know me and you know how much shit I talk about. And I guessed yours. What do you think my number one character is? Like the, oh, the, one, the number one. Because I, I, put, I put the one I like the most up front. It's not Dr. Doom. I don't think. No. All right. So oh, who is your favorite in the Marvel 
can you give me a small hint? Like, is it in the MCU or would he be in more of a uh, another property slash or a... He's he's a Marvel property. Have, have I seen him in a movie? No. Okay. Uh, That's all I'm going to give you. He's not been in any movies, but he's a Marvel property, and he's been on. I mean, he's obviously been on film. Okay, wait a minute. So, because I'm thinking Punisher. Oh yeah! yeah Thank you. Punisher. All right. Punisher's my favorite. I there I love go. the Punisher okay. because he's you know. You always like see these heroes. They take the villains in. The fucking villain goes to the you know the the prison, and then ten comic book issues later, fucking villain breaks out or somebody breaks him out, and they got to capture him and put him back. Punisher don't fuck around. This Punisher puts motherfuckers down. He doesn't play, right? right? He's like, if you're a criminal and you're hurting people and you're doing shit, I'm gonna take you out. And I just I love all the the military stuff that he does and the guns and everything. And I like the fact that he's not a superhero, right? He's He's a um, he's just a highly trained soldier. He's just badass. Um, now let, let me ask you, know, you this: I, yeah. Judge Dredd is he Marvel? No. Mm -mm. Okay. Who he's is like Judge an independent. Dredd? He's I I'm not sure who he belongs to, but he. Well, I don't know. You know what? He might be Marvel. He might be like Marvel, but not part of the Marvel universe. Huh. Okay. You know what I mean? You'd have to look him up. I, I don't know. Marvel might own him as a property, but he's not part of like the the X Men hey, or anything. Hey, Paul called stuff. you out. Paul called you out, and I'll bet you it's on your short list. Yeah, oh, Micronauts. Micronauts. I'll bet oh. you it's on your short list. <laughs> I like Micronauts. I do. <laughs> I, do. I do. But they, dude, you got to remember, we said uh, Marvel, like MCU and stuff. So I tried not to do anything with characters that have been on film. So, like, or haven't been on film. So I'm trying to judge these characters by what I've seen of them on film, even if it's been on another property. Mm -hmm. um, Micronauts could be on my list of Who you want what to, see? to yeah. see. Okay. Could oh, be. I guarantee, I guarantee could goddamn be. it. Could be. <laughs> could be. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yes, could be. Maybe. I don't right. see. All right, Mike, what's well, your number two? Well, 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 hold on a second. What? You're just going to say, you're just going to say, oh, the Punisher. Come on. I get like. Let's I talk explain about, why. But let's talk about how, like, how can the Punisher survive in a world where there's a lot of these other characters that have superhuman abilities? Oh, oh I'll and tell how you why. To, please I'll tell, tell you why. Because he's, he's, first off, he's tactical, okay? So mm -hmm. he's, he's, uh, he, he knows, he knows how to war. These other heroes and shit never learned how to war. This guy's an ex-soldier. So he knows how to be a warrior, like actually how to fight guerrilla tactics and everything none of these other motherfuckers have guerrilla tactics like they don't know when to engage and when to disengage an enemy uh, uh, except you know I mean? for deadpool bam deadpool right, did well, okay He's a so maybe remember yeah. um secondly punisher in the end everybody knows he's really a good guy even if he does bad things it's for the right intention so the heroes i think sometimes cut him some slack in the comics even though they don't want to like they would arrest him like a bad guy, but they kind of like work. They'll even work with him sometimes, which gives him a chance to get out of it. Yeah. He also keeps a goddamn secret identity, unlike these other motherfuckers. He actually hides out. He doesn't try and have a life outside of being the pun. The, Frank Castle is just this other side of him that he has to be from time to time. <laughs> when he's you not wanna, killing people. Yeah, yeah, when he's not killing people. He <laughs> fucking lives that shit. So that's, I'm telling you, that's how he survives. He takes. He takes being what he is more serious than any of the other characters other than villains because villains are always who they are. Because yeah, they don't have job. to have lives. It's huh? a full-time job, man. Yeah, it's a full-time full job. job. All right, number two, Mike. What's your number two? Okay, my <laughs> number two is, and I might get some slack for this for all of the characters. I had, I had to think about this long and hard. <laughs> but uh, it is the Spitterman. And uh, again, part of it had to do with um, the reboot that really put it over the top for me for Spider-Man, um, yeah. Tom Holland and the way that they did the final one. If like, if, if Tom Holland and the, you know, homecoming hadn't recently come out, then I may not have done, I may have uh, been, I may have stuck with um, uh, my old standby, which would have been Wolverine. Um, however, yeah. Spider-Man, uh, I think uh, took a, took a, a, took the second place for that. And that is because 
Uh, I really love how they finally got the reboot and finally got the um, origin. Well, first of all, I loved how they didn't have to even do the origin story because we've already seen it twice. Yeah. But, but Spider-Man as a character, I think, has one of the best origin stories. And, and he's the every person's hero. He's just a kid. You know, he can make mistakes and yet he still wants to do good. And uh, that's what I think they finally captured on um, Tom Holland's, you know, Spider-Man is just like he he doesn't have this overbearing sense of dread that he has to venge or, you know, he has to, you know, right. uh, do good or, you know, ultimate power. No, he's just like, yeah, I got this stuff. You know, it's hey, like, yeah. Hey, and Mike, let's let's huh? just do this. Let's just do this. I'm going to interrupt you real quick because he's my number two, too. So let's just talk about this together. All right. So Aww. I'm going to play with you. Dude, I besties. love Spider. We're besties. I love Spider-Man, and I always have. Uh, as a kid, I collected Spider-Man for a very long time. Probably my longest-running collection. Even though Punisher's my favorite, there's something about Spider-Man. He's, you know, like you said, he's he's a good guy. He's like he's like he's a good guy for all the right reasons. I mean, he's yeah. not. Yeah. He doesn't feel like it's his. He does. He does have that sense of duty. Okay, but it's not like a job. Yeah. It's just. It's like it's like a piece of who he is. Right. And. And he, like and he said he, it best when he said, "Why do you do this?" And he goes, "Because if I don't, what did I, had, I forgot how they put that when um, Tony Stark asked him all of a sudden? Now I'm blanking. It's like, if if oh if I didn't do something, knowing that I could have done something, right. you know what I mean? And I didn't, yeah. then I'd feel awful. Or it was something to that effect, yeah. I believe. And, Correct me if I'm and, wrong, guys. But uh, uh, and uh, oh, and Terry, Terry's in the chat room. She said that. Um, she said, and, and she's right. London loves Tom Holland, and I do too, man. Uh, I think Tom Holland is the best Spider-Man yeah. ever. So good, and um, and London loves him so much. I mean, she she follows him on Instagram. She knows everything he's doing. She's like really, she's she fangirls over Tom Holland, and and I understand it. He's great. Uh, she said he can dance too, and he can. Have you seen him do like he yeah. some, some special or something? He can like really dance, and he's he's like a gymnast. So like all those flips and stuff that he was doing, he does a lot of yeah. his own stunts. Hey, um, have you guys ever seen the Spider-Man? Like the what, oh god, what, the guy in New York. Uh, they it was a song, and the guy's doing the dance, and he's dressed up in full Spider-Man, and he's like doing that thing where, as you know what I mean, he's like this. Oh, the floss. A, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's hysterical, man. You got to check that out on um on the the YouTube. But but yeah, Tom Tom Holland is so good, and and Spider-Man just is a character. I mean, you know, you're going all day about like. You know how perfect he is as a as a hero. You know he's just such a lovable character that you can't you can't help but not like. I mean, if you don't like Spider Man, you know fuck you ain't got a soul. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know? Tori, and, we and, knew you said Tom. I knew you said Tom Holland, not and, Adam Holland. <laughs> and, oh, and and London, dude, I gotta tell you when um, spoilers, but oh, when uh, when the, when the snap happened, and and Tom Holland, you know dissolved away right i had i had to comfort london because she's like daddy spider-man <laughs> and, and i had to tell her i was like no 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 he'll be back he's got a, there's got a sequel there's a whole contract he belongs to sony marvel marvel can't disney can't kill him because he, he he's actually owned by sony so he'll be okay and she was like oh, okay so <laughs> I'm, I'm good that she can take the pragmatics out of the emotional you know right 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 but i wouldn't have. Dude, I'd be like, dude, i don't know what you're talking about i just saw him die dude i thought she was gonna <laughs> fucking melt down i had you were waiting to wait for it too you were yeah, waiting I, for it. Oh yeah. When he's like, Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. I'm like, oh no, poor uh, London. <laughs> <laughs> poor girl. Yeah. Oh, London. Oh, London's watching. Okay, I gotta watch the bad words. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Hey right. London. So yeah. So anyway, she so Language. she loves Tom Holland. So good. All right, anything else about the Spiderman? Uh, let me see. Da, 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 da. Favorite origin story. I love his powers. I've always loved the debate about whether the the web should shoot out if he had the organic webs. Which, when I was younger, I really agreed. That... Stop talking about me. All right. No, I'm saying nice things about so you, London. Baby. Anyway, London this and London that, and then London Bridge was falling down, and then no. oh, hey, London. Stop. <laughs> Everyone knows I hate that. Oh, I didn't. I didn't get the memo. <sighs> Right. Hey, you both. All right, baby. Mm, we love I'm, not, you. I'm not going. Huh? I was just coming to talk to you. No, you can't talk to him. I'm doing a show. I'm in the middle of a show. No. Yeah, baby. All right, you, I got to do my show, okay? Look what mommy said. All right, London put him in his Wait. place. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, everybody's cheering on London. <laughs> hey, it's London. We love you, London. Everyone loves you. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
funny. All right. Yeah. All right. Come on. Let me do my show, baby. No. <laughs> yes. No. no. All right. So go ahead, Mike. So uh, uh, what was I just saying about the uh, – oh, oh, the web sh shooting, shooting the webs. Yep. Like I was always a, a fan of the web shooting out of his hands organically because I just okay. think, oh, that's really cool. A spider has it organically. He shouldn't have it as a me mechanism, right? Right. But someone made a very good point a long time mm -hmm. ago, and I think it, that that person who made that point was actually Stan Lee, who said, "Where does the uh, web come out on a spider?" Yeah, his his butt. So yeah. you yeah. could make it come out of Peter Parker's butt. It's something we've talked about much, muchly <laughs> at Marvel. Hey, you know, but nobody what? was to see that. You know what? We should have had them install one in Scott Pond. While oh, he was God. in the hospital, because he, well, they were already there, and yeah, he doesn't need were, that anymore. He can have a no, web shooter can, uh, put web, in, right? Right. And then, and yeah, Scott, is that is that something you're still looking into? Maybe we yeah. could. Uh, Maybe we could have that know. done. Maybe split a superhero. The, right? Usually, you split the doctor an extra twenty to sew something else, you know. But we'll. In there. Yeah. Flip my, yeah. Okay. Anyway. He can flex um, his butt cheeks and shoot a web out, you know. Right. Like, yeah. Something right. like that. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> uh, hi, Scott. We love you. <laughs> Tori's like, where are you? Oh, uh, so Tori. Oh my God. Oh, that, you know what? No, I said it because I knew she was there. Oh yeah, she was uh, there. But I yeah. thought he was there. Oh, too bad if he didn't see it. Oh. Uh, and we got. Uh, Let's Pond's see, what new, else? Pond's new prison wallet. <laughs> 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 all right, all right, let's That's go number three. One. Come on, come on, our time, time's tick, tick, ticking. Uh, is it? Yeah. Gosh, I'm having fun. We're having too much Are fun you? to be yeah. worried about ticking. Um, so What's number three? My number three is, and I, uh, I, I wasn't, it, it, this was a last minute audible before we went on the air. I had to change this. And I'll I'll explain this once we get into some of our um, honorable mentions. But Thanos, I actually went with Thanos. Oh, you like Thanos? Okay. You know, I, and I'm going to tell you why. Hey, okay. Let me say go upstairs. Yeah. As as uh, the the time I've had more time to digest, I've watched the movie a couple times. I've I've had time to kind of contemplate and think about all the variables that led to him making those choices and why he rationalized it. I, I, I maybe um, maybe Libby will appreciate this because you know I mean I know he's got a boner for Thanos, but uh, I think I understand that his motivation was that you know he's been around a lot longer than any of us, and we can judge that there's other ways and there's got to be another way. But he, I, if his altru, it's his not altruism, but if his goal is to really have more prosperity in the universe. And that mm -hmm. was his ultimate decision is that's the only way. And he's – I don't know whether he's tried. That's my only question is did he actually try anything else? That said, uh, I kind of just – it makes sense that in his mind, he really does believe and he is earnest that this was the only way. And he did do it so that other people can prosper and not have like uh, – what would you call that? Uh, uh, a baseline of misery but yeah. more of a, ba a baseline of prosperity. No, dude, I, I got to agree with you. You know, he's he's a very complex villain, which is really good. I mean, that those yeah. are the best yeah. kind of villains. The, the exactly. best kind of villains are the ones who, who – because everybody thinks they're the good guy, right? Very few people think they're a villain or think they're a bad guy. Mm -hmm. um, they're – you know, he he actually thinks he's saving the universe. And maybe he is. I mean, who, who – you know – I do have to admit there are too many people on Earth. Now, do I want to wipe out half the humans on Earth? No, I really don't. I think that's a bad well, thing. Well, th unless, uh, unless we get to pick. Unless no. we get to pick who gets to no, go and who doesn't. No, 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 no. No? No. No. See, now that's evil. See, now, now you're getting into evil territory. No, no, no. I'm just saying. If, if yeah, yeah, I, no, no, I, I'm, I'm, saying. I'm trying to ensure that I'm not going to get picked. That's all no, I'm saying. Uh, so that's, yeah. Anyway, so no, Than Thanos is good. I like him. It's a good choice. It's a good if choice. the world is going to be happy and I'm going to be in it, then I'm going to be happy and not have the people that I can't stand in it. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay. That said, all right. So Scott Pond, um, you know, he just joined and he said, what did yeah. he miss? So, okay. uh, Go ahead, so why don't you just, quick. Can, can you, can you just give me a real oh. quick ele yeah, hey, Scott, elevator? We were we we were having a debate of whether Spider-Man's web shooter is shooting out of his wrist, like 
you know, organically or having web shooters was better. Mike likes the organic. And I said that at that point we went down the road of, you know, I, I said that maybe you could have um, the web shooters installed because, you know, if Spider-Man really shot webs organically, they'd come out of his butt. And I was thinking that you have a space now that's not being yeah. used for that. You could have a web shooter installed there and you mm -hmm. could be like a real life Spider-Man. The spider I'm pond. Saying. Spider Pond. Just saying. Just saying. Yeah. Well, I want to think about it. You got yeah. another appointment coming up. You know? <laughs> Tori said you're going to go see that doctor soon. So. And, and the picture that, uh, if anyone has, isn't following Scott Pondo on Facebook, you need to follow his cancer journey, first of all. The fact that he has, and this man, this is, this is a test of humor. You think, oh my God, you guys are being so insensitive. The man oh. has a toilet paper or a dispenser of a guy bending over against the wall on the top of his toilet and it's that's where you pull out the uh your wipes yeah. so i mean this is the guy that we love and that's why we can oh, see these things never i've never seen anybody go into something with such courage and, yeah. and just like he he just i'm telling you if anybody has ever given the middle finger to cancer it's this man right here yes and i, I love it man hey scotty love baby love Anyway, so we, we make those jokes out of love. <laughs> That's right. They don't sound Zaxby's. like it. All right, All right let's Zaxby's. get moving. So right. Thanos, we're, we're, we're done with Thanos. What were you, yep. how, how do you that? Oh, I, it, as I said he's been around for a long time. Yep. Yeah, and I believe that he's making, uh, you know. Oh, and wait, and I, I could, I'm still having an issue, though, with him sacrificing, you know, if he truly loves, you know, Gamora, which he obviously did. Mike, come on. If you love somebody, you gotta <laughs> let him go. Oh my god! <laughs> wow! Into a, into a pit <laughs> was Holstone. but anyway, you know, it, it remains to be seen what happens at the you know with the next movie. But we're not going to get yeah. even get into that. Um, right. <laughs> he's a lovable curmudgeon. Anyway, um, so uh, my number three. My number three is is Captain America. Believe it or not. I, not, not, not. You don't believe it? I not from you. Yeah, help mm -hmm. me. All right. I love Captain America because he is—he's the guy that you can always count on, no matter what. I mean, he is the hero that is like—he's—he's he's like an uber hero. He does the right thing, even when it's you know, even when it's um, you know, flies in the face uh, of of what should be done or what or what legally should be done he's just he's just so like okay london i'm trying to do a show baby <laughs> he's um so there was team cap and team you know team iron man right and iron man was like oh we should we should get these powers in check and you know we're we're dangerous and when the government should have control and captain america's like yeah well you know what happens when we need to do something the government doesn't want us to do you know he was right, right. i was team cap all the way and He's just such a cool dude, you know. He just says what he means. He, you know who he reminds me of in a lot of ways, and you're gonna laugh, but he reminds me of Kevin Brown. Kevin Brown was the kind of guy who he always said what he thought. I mean, he was just straight fucking forward. Oh, sorry, he was straightforward. You know, he he just, and I always admired that about Kevin. Kevin didn't pull any punches, and neither does Captain America. He says what he, and and he's not afraid to take on the bully. I like yeah, that about Paul him. Paul says he he does the right thing versus the easy thing. Yes, exactly, exactly. Yep. Now, Terry, Terry's saying should be the Hulk, but we have honorable mentions coming up. Yeah, uh, that's all I have to say about Cap. There's, it's not very complex why I like him. Th no, that's I exactly mean, it, it. There's it's nothing self, more to it. It's almost self-explanatory, and, and I, I'm not going to disagree with you. I just thought, wow, that's that's someone I wouldn't have I wouldn't have uh, picked for you. That's all. Yeah, no, I like Captain um, America. He's and, a cool dude. What's what's sensitive for me, I think, is the oh, fact like please. when he was when he was just uh, Rogers. And mm -hmm. he took, jumped on that grenade, you know, yeah. like, and that's why they knew they had to pick him because he would never abuse those powers. Right. He was, matter of fact, he was a superhero before he was a superhero. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. He was, yeah, he was always Captain America. Like he didn't need powers to be Captain America. He was Captain. Well, I mean, he didn't need those powers to do anything with, with who he was, but he was, he was that hero before he got any powers. And that's what I really like yeah. about him. And he didn't Agreed. change. He's still that guy. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yep. So Agreed. that's cool. Okay. So let me, I'm going to run down real quick uh, my honorable mentions. Okay. Keep um, these short. I will. Promise. Uh, I got Rocket, Ra- Rocket Raccoon. Okay. Uh, and, I didn't think uh, I was going to like him. Yeah. I, I just, uh, again, he's a very relatable character. He's an, he's like such a dick, but they really get into his like the psychology of, and you understand why. Yeah. And yeah. he's still, he's, he's, uh, he's still gonna do the right thing, but he still does the wrong things all the time. <laughs> you know, like stealing the Cornex batteries and stuff, right. stuff like that. Um, Loki, uh, I've hated Loki for so long, but I've just come to appreciate him now. Right. Uh, here's another one. Killmonger. Uh, the oh, last... yeah, he was such yeah. a good villain. He was a, he was a very relatable villain. He, he was the, that I said, he was the villain that Marvel finally got right, that we could really understand and relate. And I think what Killmonger did is prepare us uh, as a collective audience to at least hopefully understand Thanos. You know what I mean? Understand yeah, the no, motivations. no. It's funny too because yeah. you know we talked about this, and, and Black Panther is not one of my favorite one of the Marvel movies, right? And and again, I think it's a fantastic movie on all levels. I think they did everything right with that movie. It just didn't resonate with me, but I thought Killmonger was a fantastic villain. But Jonathan, are you, did you are you talking about uh, Rock, Rocket Raccoon being uh, a Muppet? I'm just curious. I don't know. Right. Uh, <laughs> now and my last my last honorable mention, really quick, quick, and I don't even think it needs any explanation is Korg. I mean, Cor- what else oh. is there to say? Oh, Korg, Korg, is, just, Korg is the best. He rocks. Hey, man. Hey, man. He rocks. Okay. <laughs> hey, man. I'm the hey, fucking rock over here. <laughs> Started a revolution on my planet. Made some flies, but uh, didn't go very well. <laughs> hey, Mike. Thanks for the mention. Glad to be on the show. <laughs> All right, let me do our other mentions real quick. All right. Go for it. Hulk. I love the Hulk. But yeah. I didn't put him in my top three because he's not deep. There's not, there's nothing, there's not a whole lot to him yet. I mean, there is. There's so much more you could do with oh. that character. They just haven't really done it yet. They haven't I really. Think, I think it's coming. I think that Good. we're all everything's well, gonna. But yeah. I, I got it. Hey, I got. We based it on the movies and what we've sure, seen so sure. far, and they just Only haven't done it yet. Yeah. He's yeah, a, yeah. He is. A, I love the. Hulk. If I could be any superhero, I would be the Hulk. Because... Oh, wait till you. Wait till you see who I want to have as a. Uh... An honorable mention for uh, wanting to see. Anyway, that. Okay, good, good. Right. Uh, and then, and that's it. Real simple. And the vulture okay. from from Homecoming. Oh, dude. Yeah. Talk about yeah. relatable villains. Oh, yeah. I love the vulture. He was such good. a good villain. So good. Michael Keaton, top top of his game on that role. Good honorable mention. Definitely loved it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. Uh, I mean, it's just just a okay. great character. And. All right. Well, I'm gonna. Why don't you go first for uh, least favorite? Worst. Okay. Character. Least favorite. Iron Fist. All right. Season two. <laughs> I've seen season two, and they did improve on him. They did. They they made him better. Okay. But in season one, yeah. so so bad. It was so bad. And it's and, you know it's not it's not for a lot of the reasons that, that that some of the other people didn't like him. The biggest reason why I didn't like him was because they picked an actor who's horrible at martial arts and he's supposed to be the greatest martial yeah. artist in right. the world. He's like Doctor Strange is the, you know, sorcerer supreme. He's right. supposed to be like the martial arts supreme. And he sucked. He was horrible. He was terrible. Yeah. And then the actor himself is not like a great actor. And then they made him as this brooding whiny bitch. Yeah. And I just I just I dude everything about no. the season 1 Awful. Uh, <laughs> Scott says the Hulk has amazing nipples. I'm sorry. Um, also, uh, be careful though, because my mom really does love the Iron Fist. However, mom, okay. uh, we're gonna let that slide. Uh, you know, you know, you're not like uh, as geeky as we are when it comes to really looking at the way the martial arts are and everything else. I think, but my mom, I think, can relate and loves the mysticism um, of you know the iron fist and all that kind of stuff. And I, that, for that, I'm not going to take that away from her. So, ah, uh, <laughs> amazing. I just saw it. Sorry. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see my least favorite. Uh, and I don't know if this is in a, a particular order or not, but whiplash. Do you know who that one is? Yeah. That, that Oh, Mickey. I, Rourke. Yeah. The character I, was bad. Ivan I love Mickey. Rourke, but, you know. Vanko from iron man three. I just listen. I'm, <sighs> 
Mickey Rourke has got some issues all around him, you know, just as in life. And, I and... do not like the whiplash. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this not bird. Bring me bird. Right. <laughs> right. This not my bird. Anyway, um, it just, you know, they hadn't really, I would have loved to have seen what they would have, if they redid uh, Iron Man 3 now as a remake, quote unquote, you know what I mean? Or if they did it for the first time, having all the, the, the juice squeeze that they have now. I wonder mm-hmm. what that they could have done with that character because he could have been so much better. Um, that's all I want to say about that. I yeah. mean, it just, you know, it, they didn't pace it well. They didn't really make us understand why it was like, all right, you're a little kid. Yeah, your dad. Da, 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 da. And he, Tony, you know, Tony Stark stole his stuff. I get that. But there's just, there's no journey. He didn't take us on any journey to get there, you know? So. Right. Um, that's it. Oh, everything good, by the way, Pete. Uh, no, no, no. Dogs are gonna eat through the cords tonight. We're, we're good. I, I don't know. My dog is chewing on something. I don't know what you're chewing. Oh, just ate it. Whatever it was, it's gone. <laughs> go ahead. Okay. All right. Well, we're still broadcasting, so I guess we're yeah, good. All fine. right. Yeah. He work ate like milk. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> like an avocado had sex with an uglier avocado <laughs> in <Right>. milk. <laughs> My, and, and Terry said, make your work as an age too well. That's true. It's very true. Yeah. Yes, he's terrible, terrible. All right. <laughs> uh, my second one is Cyclops from X-Men. Uh, mm-hmm. And I know it's popular to hate on Cyclops, you know. And, and I, I I feel bad for the actor who plays him. Because Cyclops, Cyclops is just such an unlikable character. And Marvel did a really good job at capturing that. They they really – they did a great job at making him unlikable. And now, when, just, are you – are you – are you dogging the just the old school Cyclops from the Days of Future Past, or are you dogging even the new what was that the first class Cyclops? To, uh, I'm gonna say know, Havoc's brother when they when he, you know when he yeah that Cyclops was a little better he was a little yeah. better but but just in general the character in general is just completely unlikable yeah. he's he's just such a he is. And it's it's not you know it's not fair. That's the way they write him, and they and they they and, Mar- right. and Marvel's not doing a bad job. In other words, they didn't write a character, and it was like, oh, Marvel, what were you doing? You know, I don't like this character you wrote. No, they actually wrote him the way he is in the comics. They did a good job at making him unlikable because in the comics everybody hates him, and I have to agree. Good job, Marvel. They, I hate him too. Did they hate? Did they hate him even before like you know um, Jean Grey did, dies and all that? They, like uh, everyone hated Cyclops, him. From Cyclops. He was always an evil. Yeah, he's always been an a-hole. He's okay, been I just wasn't sure. He's always been like just an unlikable character. I mean, he went nuclear. I know, according to the storylines, he went nuclear a-hole when Jean Grey died. No, it's not It's it's not just about like things that he's done that are bad. It's like things like he gets involved in these weird – he's always – he's one of these guys who has to be in a relationship and the whole – he's just – he's such a weird character. Like he's – he's got ish – he's got issues. You know, like he, you know, he's 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 always coupled with some character. Like it's he was with Emma Frost, and he's with he's with Jean Grey, and he's with you know, he, and it's just like every friggin' time you see him, he pairs up with somebody. And it's, he was with like, Jean the Jean Grey who wasn't Jean Grey who ended yeah, up being just, the parent of. Yeah, but that's not his the, fault. That's not his fault. Come on. Nah, nah, he was suckered. Yeah. Anyway, but, that, no, no more need to talk about that. I just don't like okay. him because he's a prick. All right, okay. go ahead. Uh, unfortunately, the way that, and, you know, I, eh, whatever, it's not my, it's not my problem. I'm just calling it like I see it. Elizabeth Olsen's uh, version of Scarlet Witch, Wanda Maximoff. What? Uh, yeah, just, um, you didn't you know, like her? Uh, she has 10% of some good moments surrounded by a lot of other moments of just n- not either just being a MacGuffin or being not very useful, not being up to the full potential of what she could do or, yeah. you know. It, They're not using her to her full potential because she's like in a mega level fucking mutant. She can, I, I know. She is, she is like one of the most powerful mutants in the world. Right, right. And and I, I understand that. You got to give yeah. kids their space. <laughs> right, I know. I'm just saying, right, you're right. They, they have misused her or underused her. She right. is, and they, you know what, in the movies, I don't even know what they're doing with her fucking powers. That's not her powers. Like in the comics, like what they're doing in the movies with her powers are not her powers at all. That's that. That's not her powers at all. Her all right. So what would you say is different? Well, she has the ability to warp reality. 
So you know like what Thanos does with the reality stone? Oh. That's what she does. Oh, that's so she right. doesn't hit people with bolts and send them flying. She like turns them into butterflies and shit. I mean if she if she was being really mean, but right. no she she can warp reality. That's why she's so powerful because at one point in the comics, she just basically says no more mutants and they all they're all gone. That's, that's right. She was the one who leveled all the mutants. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. She is uber powerful and she doesn't yeah. shoot bolts or fly or any bullshit she she just literally warps reality and they marvel could have done so much cool shit with that right like you think all that that stuff they do with dr strange is cool they could have done all that with her right yeah yep so that's that was that i mean it's just like i said you know exactly for what you say i just didn't know what her exact full potential is as far as you know knowing a lot of her plot i haven't taken the time to read a lot of her plot lines yet i mm -hmm. i'm slowly getting around doing the rounds but, with her. but it, it could be it could be that she's awakening into her powers maybe she doesn't realize all that shit she that's, do. maybe that's that's, that's just too. the manifestation she's learned yeah. how to do who knows sure. ah, whatever all right so my uh my third worst you're gonna laugh dr <sighs> doom Worst? Yep. Oh dear. Because I have to go oh. by I have to go by what they've done with him in the movies and on video and such, and they have uh -huh. fucked him up so bad. The representation that that I, it was a Sony, I think, owned him. No, no, it was a Fox, right? Fox. What they did with him in the Fantastic Four movies was god awful, was a crime, shame. Oh, it, oh I mean, right, especially the second version of the FF. So. Bad. <laughs> oh, so bad. And I, you know, I could go on forever on why it is so bad. He is no, such an I... easy villain, such an easy villain to get yeah. right, and you fucked it up, and you turn yeah, him into did. something he's completely not. They dicked him. Done. All right, next. Uh, Honorable um, mentions, Mike. Huh? Honorable mentions, because we gotta get, we gotta get through this. Okay. All right. Forget my number three. It was. Uh... No, I thought you hadn't. Oh, what is your number three? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, okay. My uh, here's here's the thing. My number three is a split. Okay. Okay. Um, because it's a you know how sometimes like in the Fox universe a uh, a, a character is played, but then when Marvel has used them, um, and I'm I'm saying of course, uh, unfortunately, the other Maximoff child. Um, oh, I know where you're going. Quicksilver, Quicksilver, right? right. So the uh, Quicksilver in the MCU, unfortunately, again, they kind of fucked them up. Yeah, not as good as the Fox Quicksilver. Right. Not Dude. even close. Right. And and yet, it's like I want to see more. He all he sort of is the only character I had I had so much trouble with that I decided I'm actually splitting him. He's he's also on my I want to see more of him yeah. in the future, you know? Because I want to see them do him right as well. So uh because Quicksilver, I am uh believe it or not, even though I haven't picked any other speedsters. I love the speedsters. Okay. Yeah. Like the Flash is one of my favorite DC characters. Yeah, that's London's uh, favorite favorite yeah. show. And and the weird thing is, I still am trying to read up on the physics and see how they um how Marvel handles because like basically DC just sort of MacGuffins and says it's the Speed Force. You know, yeah. the Speed Force he's is part, what keeps them from burning up. They keep right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, he's part keeps, of the Speed Force. Right. Yeah. So that's why he can um, react faster. He can think faster than the speed of light. And blah, 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 blah. Dude, and, don't, don't. Quicksilver and, and is just... I, I know, I know. And, but Silver it's is. at the same time, there have been... I was one crossover where when Barry Allen was at a certain level and Quicksilver, they were, they were sort of neck and neck um, with powers. But uh, I just realized and um, read through a series, uh, a quick read through a series where... Uh, the Flash actually um, he he saved the universe from or raced across the universe to save the Earth, and he actually ran fast. He had to run faster than the speed of light, you know, in order to so went back in time. Place. Yeah, and all this stuff. Hey, so um, so hold on. Maybe maybe Quicksilver doesn't run fast at all. Maybe he slows time down. Yeah, it could be. It could be something weird like that too, right? Yeah. Uh, exactly. That's why I kind of anyway, like. Yeah. We got a TikTok. All right. Okay. Hey. All right. So honorable mentions, really quick for least favorite. Wait a, minute. Wait a minute. Terry had a mention. She said Loki. She loves Loki. We all love Loki. We do. Loki is yeah, yeah. badass. Loki's he's good. awesome. He's he's not in my top three, but he's he's in there. Yeah. He's I like Mama I Marsh. Like he likes him too. Okay. Uh, really quick honorable mention. Helmet Zemo. Um, uh, I just 
they used him wrong with with getting yes. you know ult you know with the whole Ultron thing. Yes, um, they did. And Hawkeye, eh? Again, they just don't. They they could do so much more with him now. Uh, what's it? Oh, Baron Zemo is a great Baron Zemo is a yeah. great villain. Yeah. 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 Um, Hawk. Uh, is it who is it? Jeremy Renner that plays mm-hmm. Hawkeye. Jeremy Renner for what they do has is the best Hawkeye to date. Which you know is Dick. saying something, <laughs> right. yeah. but uh, I just feel like they could do so much, and I hope yep. that they do something in the fourth movie when they bring him back because he's coming back, and maybe he comes yeah. back as that other guy. It's, I can't remember offhand who he's going to be, but he right. his Sentinel wife, or some shit, yeah, or something his like wife that. dies, and the Iron you Fist, his favorite. I, oh, anyway, I, I like him. I like him as uh, I like him as Hawkeye in this, but he didn't stand out, right? But he also isn't negative, right? Like, I didn't want to put him on the worst list because I don't have anything against the Hawkeye character, but he doesn't really do anything oh. for me either. He's just kind of neutral. He's just kind of in there. He's like War Machine, you know? He like serves, him, but eh. Well, but he does serve his purpose. Like, he's a, a really good uh, on-field uh, mentor for um, for the – what's his, what's her name? For Scarlet Witch, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Like, the fact that, you know, he's like he, – you know, that he was just like, you know, I'm uh, there's guys from space – and all these people with powers, and I have a bow and an arrow. Nothing makes sense, <laughs> you know. Right, like right. at least he gets himself, you know. Yeah. He doesn't take yeah. himself too seriously either. So right. I can appreciate that a bit. All right. That said, right. I've already said that I wanted to see Quicksilver. So that's my number one. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you, are you most wanted to see? Because I have an honorable mention for worst. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Howard the fucking duck. Done. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> most want to see. Oh come on. No. I, no. I, Stop it. Most want right. to see. Howard the Duck rules. Okay, um, so I already said I wanted to see Quicksilver, uh, you know, more of him in a better way. Um, that said, go ahead. What's your number one want to see? All right, most number one want to see Doctor Doom. I want to see him done right. All right, all right. Marvel's bringing him in, mm-hmm. right? He's now part of the family. Please, Disney, get it right and right. make me a Doctor Doom that will that will make. Th- Make all these other villains pale in comparison. All right. That's it. That's it. Um, 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 mine, I want to see more of. Like, uh, and uh, when I say this, I want to see, and I know, I know there's technically been a Punisher movie, but I want to see the real Punisher movie, like a, yeah. like a good one. Okay. Like, yep. like, I'd love to see maybe Punisher team up with, uh, you know, he, t- Punisher was never on X Force, though, was he? No. No. Okay. no, he does team up from time to time, though. They yeah. had him on like like the Secret Avengers team or something. Yeah, he's not a great team player. No. I, I'd love to see him though with uh with that um uh, with the uh, the uh, Deadpool. They, they they might be able to work. No, no, he killed Deadpool. Well, he tried. No, never mind. Yeah. Um. <laughs> uh, and then Mart. So my number three, real quick, because I'm gonna just keep going, and yeah. uh, I think you'll appreciate this. I want to see. Yeah, again, because he's another one of my sort of, you know, honorable mention favorites is uh, Silver Surfer. So I want to see them bring good, Silver Surfer. Like a really good Silver Surfer? Yeah. All right. I will tell you that they're not going to do it because they already filmed the friggin' movie before they got the rights and blah, 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 which sucks because, you know, whatever. Silver Surfer played a very pivotal role in the Infinity Gauntlet. Thing. Oh, I know. So I know. And I know they're, that. But they're not going to use him. But, yeah, I agree. Silver Surfer would be really cool if they did him right. Yep. Yeah. All right. Be. So let me do mine real quick because we, we're running out of time yeah. real fast, uh, faster than can be. I want to see Beta Ray Bill. Beta Ray uh, Bill. It's so cool. Such a cool yeah. character. He's like he's cooler than Thor. I don't know. He's just like yeah. he's like Thor, but like cooler. I just I want to see him. And I'm, yeah. no other reason than that. He's just, just a neat character. Every, everything I've heard. And they've set him up to. He exists. He you exists. Know? He, he does. Was on, he was he's on the. A, uh, he was the, a champion the, on the head yeah. of the thing. Yeah. He was on the cockpit of champions. Yep. And I want to see the brood, and it looks like they could totally do it because they're bringing. You got Carol Danvers. So you're bringing in the Scroll. You've got the Cree with you know Captain Marvel and all that mm-hmm. stuff, right? The X Men are now coming over to the Marvel universe right at the right time for this, right? You could bring in the Star Jammers. You could bring in the brood. Hell yes, let's do it. Um, if you're not, Mike, are you familiar with the Brood? Do you know who I'm talking about? I don't. Be, uh, sort of. The Brood is it's another race. Yes. Uh, but it was they're... it was a knockoff of Alien. Okay, so the Brood were these like big like bug like things, right? And they could impregnate 
a hero with they impregnate people with with eggs and then when the eggs hatch it forms another brood but it also takes on properties of that person so what they would do is they would impregnate like a hero and then a brood would pop out and kill the hero of course right oh. and become like a super powered brood so super brood yeah, super brute. So they were really cool. It was just fun watching that because it was just like it was like aliens and Marvel and it bring in the Star Jammers who are really cool because then you see Corsair who's who's uh, Scott Summers' father. Um, you get the, the guy Chode and Hezeba and Bug if he's not with the Micronauts at the time. Which then I will also throw in. Might as well just do it. Honorable mentions. Micronauts. I uh, totally want to see the Micronauts, uh, but I don't think we will because Hasbro owns that and they're talking. Right about doing like a Hasbro universe so we may not see that at all please make it happen and I want to see this last thing I'm going to say I want to see Storm and when I say mention, honorable mention Storm because the Storm that they've given us sucks it's not Storm she's not terrible like I don't hate her so she wasn't in my worst three but what she about is the not first the class Storm the new Storm that came in on Apocalypse not, it doesn't matter none of them they oh, are not okay. the Storm from the comics the Storm from the comics is a badass awesome character and they need to do yeah. that Storm they need to bring yeah. that Storm to us and do a storyline where Storm hooks up with Black Panther yada yada or, or Scott, well, yeah. Well, Black Panther would be better. Black Panther yeah. would be. Oh, that would be so cool. <gasps> well, That's she was the queen. To... She was the queen of Wakanda for a while. Remember? No. Well, if she yeah, married she Black was. Panther, she married then Black she... Panther. Okay, because she. I don't know if you know this, but she was a queen of her own little country. She was like a goddess, not a queen. She was actually the goddess of her own little African country. She was from Egypt, I believe. No, no, she. I don't know. She, I think she's yeah. somewhere in Africa. Yeah. But she was. She was like regarded as a god. They thought she was a goddess. So. I want to see like a badass storm, and you know what? That would be awesome if, in the next Black Panther movie, now that they got the rights, they could do it. They introduce Storm. That would be freaking awesome. Yeah. Right. Uh, Scott's saying, what about Bamf? Uh, X Men, Galactus. Uh, Corey Scott is saying, uh, got you know, and I was oh, thinking the about Shire, this too. Hey, hey, Corey, Corey, the Shyar, they come with the brood. So if the brood come, we get the Shyar. Oh, yay! Um, all right. Uh, my honorable mentions, real quick, are uh, where are you? Where are you? Honorable mentions? No, She-Hulk. I would like to see She-Hulk. Oh yes, and yes. They could, they could do that fairly, you know, easily because yeah. you know these 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 super these, 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 these uh, all these heroes are going to need a lawyer soon, right? Uh, oh, you know what? That, they should have. Can, they should have. Oh, God, who could they have play her? Because it's got to be like somebody. Who's I don't know. Really don't, beef, man. I know. Don't let's not get into that just yet. Okay, all but, right. Yeah, yeah, all right. Uh, I want to see Luke Cage make it actually into a movie. I want that yeah. character from that because he is my favorite of the uh, Netflix, and I think he deserves to be in a movie. And not just a cameo. He deserves no, like, no. something. They, they need to do Doctor Strange. At the end of Doctor Strange 2, they need to set up the Defenders. He needs to, he needs to make the yeah. real Defenders. Yeah. It won't happen, but that would be, that would be really cool. And bring in, bring those characters all in as the uh, under under Doctor Strange as the real def as like don't call it the real Defenders, but you know call it the <laughs> Defenders movie. That's right, Tori She Hulk. I said it. She Hulk. Said yeah, it. she's badass. No, no, I love She Hulk. Always have. Yeah. Um. All right. I know we're getting late. Uh, yeah. So, you want to do a game? Yeah, I do. I do. Um. I'm gonna save this because we're gonna talk more Marvel. I have a couple of other. I had a, a couple of trivia things and some other verses to discuss. But you know what? We're going to do that for another time. We're going to – Yeah, for, let's for save another, it. Hey, yeah. it could be a November show because you got November this year. Yeah. Mar Make it a November Mar show. Totally down. Our Mar Marvember show. Marvember show. All right. Let's do this. All right. All right. Everybody, here we go. Let's do this. Um, my, 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 my. Hey, everybody. It's game time with the Mythwits. I'm your game master, and this week we're playing Bet the Geek. And we're going to play with Mike. Mike is going to be our geek. Now, we put this together as a last-minute kind of thing. Because <laughs> it's a nice thing. Because so, there's only, there's only oh. one player. It, it's Mike. And um, so what we're going to do, we're going to let the audience play along. So let's, let's do this. When I ask Mike, I'm going to ask him some questions. And when I ask him a question, just write down whether you get it right or not. So just keep in your head or, or write down on a piece of paper whether you think Mike is going to get it right or not. If you agree, so in other words, if Mike, if you say Mike is going to get it right and he does get it right, you get a point. If you say he's not going to get it right and he doesn't, you get a point. And if you're wrong, you get minus one. So 
Just keep it to yourself, and at the end of the you know at the end of this game, I'll ask everybody you know to, to reveal their scores, and we'll, we'll reveal them on air. Uh, we're gonna go with the honor system. But the game is, I'm gonna give Mike the uh, secret identity of these heroes, of these Marvel heroes, and he's gonna have to tell me what hero they are, what hero I am. I am right, uh, and I'm. Uh, I got to stop looking at the chat room, so you yeah. guys can go ahead and and scream up. I'm not yeah, going to. You, I'm you can scream away. Right Mike is not going to watch the chat room, so go right ahead. All right, so. Uh, <sighs> so Mike is probably going to do pretty good at this. I mean, you know, it's it's. Well, we'll uh, see. We, dis we and we discussed should it be the superhero, and he's got to give me the identity or the identity and the superhero. And he said, let's do the identity and the superhero. I don't know if that makes it harder or easier. Neither did he. So we'll, we'll see, see how it goes. Right. So all of these are, like we said, our MCU properties are soon to be or or. or have been brought into MCU properties. It could be, uh, you know, uh, any of the TV shows, any of the movies. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just or, go, 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 go. We're on yeah, it. Okay. All right. All right. Fantastic. All right. <laughs> Michael, first one, James Buchanan Barnes. Ah, the Winter Soldier. Bing. All right. Hold on. Is that game? Bing. 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 Come on. Bing. 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 There it Yay. is. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right. James Rhodes. Oh, uh, James Rhodes. That's uh, War Machine, right? Captain or Lieutenant or, or something Rhodes. Yeah, yeah okay. War Machine, correct. All right, all right, I'm doing all good. Right. Woohoo! All right, so far, so far. Eddie Brock. Eddie Brock. Okay, I do know this. I do know who Eddie Brock is. Uh, I'm just going to give because I feel bad now. I'm going to let everyone, you know, put their, their nickel down. Um, but as I'm saying this, um, I know that Eddie Brock is uh, who becomes what's the dude's name? Um, the uh, you know the Venom. He he becomes the Venom. He becomes the Venom. That is correct. All right, Mike, doing pretty good here. Oh, thank you, thank Hank, you. I'm, I'm proud of myself. Hank McCoy. Hank McCoy is a very smart guy, but fortunately, he's feeling a little blue. Uh, very, very blue Hank McCoy is because even though he's just a, a nerd at heart, he's a beast. All right, you're doing very well. All right, Mike, let's see if I can throw you a curveball here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Because you have to name her super name. Her super name? Emma Frost. Oh. oh. She has a yes. super name. Yes, she does. She does. Emma Frost. I know her. I mean, I know... Of course you do. She, she was in X Men First Class. Mm -hmm. uh, she was with what's his face, the nuclear guy. Um, yeah. Um, and oh, let's see. I know it's Crystal. She's like she turns to Crystal. I, I, I'm well, like I'm, I'm workshop. Well, that's one half of her abilities. The other half right. is she has mental. Abilities she can oh, read. Oh yeah, she Professor can read Academy. minds. Yeah, so she's. Uh, I'm gonna call her the Crystal Ball. <laughs> <laughs> White Queen. White Queen. The White Queen. Part of the Hellfire Club. Okay. All right, Mike. Here's another one. It's a little okay. bit. I keep forgetting to change the window. Here's another one. Here's another one that's a little bit of a curveball. I I don't think you're gonna get this one personally, but all right. Let's all right. see what okay. the audience thinks. Uh, Norin Rad. Norin Rad. Mm hmm Well, let me tell you what's a little bit about up, What's fucked up about this? They don't say this hero's name in any of the things you'd have to know that you, you would kind of have to know this from the comics, but it is. Right. Well, character. you'd have to know something about Norin Rad, and that is yeah. that he was, uh, he not only used to travel with Apocalypse, but he also used to travel with Black Widow. And uh, when uh, he was with Black Widow, they used to uh, call him um, the Radiator. And uh, he was a wrestler. And, oh, shit. <laughs> I was waiting. I was waiting for the beat. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mike, Norn Rad is Silver Galactus. Surfer. Oh, Galactus is Herald. Okay. Yes, Galactus is Herald. Norn Rad. Okay. Yes. Yep. 
Oh, wow. So when I said apocalypse, you're like, huh? I didn't know that. (laughs) So, Mike, (laughs) you're going to get this one, I'm sure. Pietro Maximoff. Let's see. Pietro. Well, that's a that's a quickie. Uh, yes, that's a quickie. Silver. Yes, that is a quick silver. Yes, it is, sir. So I've gotten two yes, wrong so far. All right, that's yeah. not too bad. That's good. Yeah, yeah, not bad. Okay. Oh, somebody's calling you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's one. Mm-hmm. Norman Osborne. Norman. Oh, see now, this is a trick question. Because if I could get, I could get this wrong if I say the wrong person. See, there's a goblin involved, but is it the green goblin or the hobgoblin? Now, I'm believing he was the green goblin. And that is my final answer. That yes. is correct. No, All right. One was the green goblin. You're never going to get it, Spider-Man. <laughs> He, he was mad at him because he sued him. He's like, Spider-Man and Spider-Man law firm. <laughs> all right. So, all right, here you go, Mike. Here's another one that might be a little tricky. Okay. Bobby Drake. Oh, this is hard because I don't know it off the top of my head. Right. And nothing's, nothing's coming to me. Bobby Drake. I I. I I'm gonna be serious about this. I, I think he was in the Spider-Man universe. Am I right? Am I, am I close? You're not gonna tell me. I don't know. I, I think he's well, in the Spider-Man well, universe. Well, well, that is mostly a no, but there is a little bit of yes in that. So a, a yes, yes that I he know. was, but but not yeah, because I would know it. There was yeah. well, you would know it. You would know it, and I'll tell you why. You'll know in a few minutes. But go ahead. Uh, you know what? In the interest of time, I'm just gonna call it. I don't know it. Okay. Bobby Drake is Iceman. That's right. That's right. And the he reason why nice. I say he was uh, Spider-Man that that you would know is because when you were a kid, when we were kids, there was Spider-Man and his Amazing Friends, yes. and that was Firestar right. and Iceman. Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. All right. right. All right. Here's the last one, and then we'll do a bonus. Um, Wilson Fisk. Oh, well, Wilson Fisk was a guy, he loved to go bowling. Oh, okay. And, uh, he, uh, he, 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 no one, <laughs> no, no one could touch him. No one, he was untouchable on, on the, the, uh, the alleys because as a matter of fact, he had, he had a nickname they used to call him down at the alleys. They used to call him the King Pin. Yeah. And Mike, <laughs> if he uh-huh. was in Baltimore, He'd have been doing duck pens, right? He'd have, he'd have been the king duck. <laughs> king duck. He'd have been Howard the Duck. <laughs> well, that, was, right. uh, that was a good connection there you got there. You like that? All right. So here we go. We're going to do one bonus one because Thank this you, one this one is not in the MCU. This is a, this is a Marvel property. I just want to see if you can get it right. But there was a movie. Series of movies, actually, for this character. All right, real quick, I, I agree, Paul, an underrated villain as well. But I think they did the best job in, uh, in uh, what was it? He was in... Uh, uh, Daredevil. Best... Daredevil, I think, did the best yeah. job at depicting him. All right, yeah, ahead, you know, in the Punisher series, he was he was, uh, was kind of like an emo kingpin. I didn't like it. Yeah. Anyway, all right. Eric Brooks. All right. I uh, doubt you're going to get this one. But say they, all they, the things that you were going to so, say before so, that so, I wasn't paying attention. So your hint is, it is a Marvel property. There was a series of movies about this character. The movies were good. The first two were great. The third one, hmm. um, and someone in the third movie would go on to play Deadpool. That's all the hint I can give you. That gives it away, really. Well, you've you've. You've narrowed it down, haven't you? Yes. No, you know you have. I have. Unfortunately, I mean, I know where it, I'm, I'm going. I'm gonna. I'll tell. You, I'll put it out there. I'm going straight to the uh, the Wolverine, um, one the that movie with the Wolverine, and uh, yes, obviously Ryan Reynolds was playing Deadpool. I don't remember Eric Brooks. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm 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 gonna have to take a stab at guessing maybe three or four of the possible heroes there because. Uh, you had the guy who was the big, the big guy that, you know, he, the blob. Ate, 
Yeah, the blobby guy. Yeah, then you yeah. had the guy with the lights. Um, yeah. As Gambit. Yeah. No, 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 no. The oh. guy who, um, the guy who could control the lights, the yeah, light okay. bulbs and stuff. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with him, even though I don't know his name. Right. So that guy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. so I let you go down this road. You're on the wrong fucking. You, you took well, a. You, you went down a complete wrong road. Ah, no. Good for me. No. Ah, blade. Blade. <laughs> right. Okay. All right. So, so the reason why I said oh, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan Reynolds was, was, was Hannibal. Fucker, you fucker. Yes, he was. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, All right, good. Mike. You, you, got you, you got. Oh man, you got. All right, everybody, tally your points and let me know what you got, Mike. And you got tally. Oh, as they're tallying their points, I have uh, uh, something I wanted to do. But go ahead. What were you going to say? You're going to uh, give Mike, me my score? You've, yeah, Mike, you did very well. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight right. Eight wow. right out of ten, and 11 was the well, – that doesn't yeah. really count. That was just yeah. an extra. That's a, wow. Eight that's out good. of ten. Hey, man, you know what? That gets you this. My man, good job. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. you know your shit, man. You're, you're learning cool. this Marvel stuff pretty good. Cool. E cred, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. You. So, what were we gonna say? Oh, I was gonna say. Uh, um, let me see. I'm gonna pick one of these right now, and I want to just say, who do you think would win in a fight? Okay. Uh, all right. I'm gonna pick this one. Iron Fist or Hawkeye? Ooh. Because I've been, I put together a couple of really good uh, bouts that we're yeah. gonna discuss next time but uh okay that's just okay. a little taste all right all right all right i mean there's, there's all I mean, it depends it always all right so we're gonna say they're in a neutral comic we can never say it was a an avengers comic or an iron like like a, a heroes for hire comic it's got to be like a spider-man comic or something right because it's got to be something that it's not their comic because it's their comic they win that's always the case well yeah so one of the ways i like to do this is uh maybe we can try this is go well I'll whoever I think it is, and then whoever you think it is. If we both agree, then it's it's a good one. But right. if not, but then we, we have, have to debate. To, we, we, we have, have to, go to through rationalize it. it yeah, out. yeah, yeah. All right, it's a good like show. That? Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So, uh, so yeah, I, just just off the top of my head, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Hawkeye. Distance. Yeah, because yeah. it all depends on the distance. Although Danny Rand could probably sneak up on him because he's a kung yeah. fu master and shit. He could probably know? grab the arrows, but then again, he yeah. But Hawkeye's it. no slouch either. He can I hand. He, he's got good hand to hand. He's really good. Good enough yeah. to maybe get away far enough right. to launch an arrow. But then Danny could do the fist hand thing because it showed it. Uh, whatever. Anyway, yeah, yeah. We'll do that next time. Okay. Uh, right. Let's see. So let's, let's read some scores. Let's read some scores. So, Mama Mama Marsh got a six out of ten, meaning that she bet. For me, probably more than she did. So thanks, Mom. Appreciate yeah. it. Uh, let's see. It's uh, got a three. <laughs> she didn't have much faith in you. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> nice. Um, let's see. Who else? Wait, Scott Pond got a five. Not too bad. Thank you, Pretty Scott. Close. Tori got a two. Thanks, Tori. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, Tori. That means you bet against me. Uh-huh. Right. I don't yeah. know what that means. David Benny's got a five. That's good. Benny's yeah. got a five. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Bro. Uh, uh Dave Benavides, Benavides just got brain damage. Okay, right. Uh, yeah, and, and Paul Paul got a rash, so um, yeah. he played the okay. game wrong. Okay, <laughs> wrong game, Paul. Wrong game. <laughs> right. He was playing something else. Fist. Oh, brown fist. That's oh, the hero. That's well, the hero. <laughs> that's that's the hero that with that comic that we would make up. Yeah, right. The, exactly. War is never mind. No, uh, <clears throat> no, we're gonna do we're gonna do the who would win. I like that. I like this okay. concept. All right, everybody, let's let's wrap this let's wrap this mofo up. All right, everybody, you've just enjoyed another awesome episode of the Myth Wit or Myth Yeah Myth Wit. <laughs> we're live on Facebook Mondays at nine p.m. Eastern time. Please ask our guest questions or just banter with the other Myth Fits. We had a really active room tonight. Fantastic, you all. Uh, they barely talk to us. They talk to each other most of the time, which is awesome. Find yeah. us on Facebook or Twitter's MythWits and check out MythWits.com. If you don't have time for videos, make sure to subscribe to our podcast via your favorite podcatcher. Still going strong, Mike. Do the like, follow, subscribe thing wherever it's appropriate. And make sure to share your favorite episode on social media. I'm not seeing a lot of that. You know, you guys are slacking just a tiny bit. Um, uh, MythWits is part of the TSR podcast network check out tsrpn.com for more cool shows mythwits is a creative commons product like and share it in all the places just don't edit it don't sell it 
and don't you know do the Batman versus Superman contest. Leave that up to professionals like Mike and I. Not really, <laughs> but whatever. Uh, make sure to check out Aetherforge.com for more cool stuff and join our mailing list. Uh, thanks. I keep saying that every week and nobody joins, but that's okay. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Tell your friends to tune in. And until next week, Mike. Uh, I do everything Mr. Stark asks. That includes occasionally taking out the trash. Oh, nice, nice.